Welcome back, folks. Right, Cape Rugby TV here with you. Uh, in studio with me, Jerome Parvata. Jerome, other than uh, what we've looked at so far, um, exciting, exciting to see the, the, the club rugby action. It's nice to, to see this level. I mean, and it's getting better and better every year. Five years ago, ten years ago, if you think of the standard of rugby, um, are, you ha are you happy with what you're seeing? Yeah, I must say very, very happy uh, with what the teams are doing. And the teams, you can see the players are fit, they're conditioned. There's not as much stoppages in the game as in the past with injuries. So you can see the clubs are doing their conditioning. Um, they, they train well, uh, guys are in form. Yeah. And that's where injuries prevent injuries, where in the past there was a lot of injuries. But you can see now games are flowing, guys are playing good rugby. Yeah. Well, let's take a look now at the match between uh, Elto Towers, Kales River and uh, St. George's. Here's the first half. There we go, folks. Uh, Kells River St. George's. Uh, looking a little bit 50-50 there, Jerome. And I must say, uh, uh, feel a little bit of pain there for, for Kells River. The Kaler boys 
the game, the weather, the waterlogged pitch? Yeah, I mean, well done to them for playing that game. Yeah. The field, <laughs> it field yeah. really didn't look well. But what I've seen now in the first half, um, both teams, they were spot on. And, and we know both teams like to run the ball. There were a couple of times where they could play the ball wide, but they played perfectly, heat it up with their forwards, play off nine. A lot of times they played off nine. Uh, see, there's a couple of set pieces where they more, both teams. So I think they played the weather conditions well, but they were still great rugby. And still, I think um, Kelsover scored two tries and uh, um, St. George scored two tries in the in the first half, yeah. which is which is good. It even it up, but then, but like I say, it was, it was still good rugby, and you can see the patience of both teams on the day. It wasn't like a perfect day to play rugby, but they played the conditions well. Yeah, tough conditions. I mean, and and uh, it's rather disruptive if ge games get called off. You've got all your planning, all your fans. Uh, there's other things as well, such as, for example, the gate takings. Yeah. Look, I think. If you know if you know the weather conditions, then maybe instead of calling games off, there's schools, there's other fields that you can use. Maybe just use some, uh, try to do something else uh, yeah. instead of calling games off. So, so let's just go back to the game quickly, Jerome. Um, Kelsjever were in fact uh, down 12 points to 23 at halftime. There, um, we're going to take a look at the second half. Again, I suppose my question to you is, what is the coach saying to the team at a time like that? Look, as I say, I think both teams, they were, they, they were spot on. I think it's just, it's just about trying to get the ball and trying to play in the right areas of the field, which they did in the first half. I would say try to do even more. Don't yeah. even try to run in these con conditions. Try to, if I'm close over, try to play more in St. George's half. Don't try because it's slippery, and also, also the field. The, Can they the, bounce the back? Second half, the second half, the field will be more muddy. So don't try to play rugby. Kick and play in the opposition's half. Can Kells River bounce back? They're down by uh, 12 points here already. Yeah, obviously we, we, we know Kells River and we know Ed Kells River and stuff. So yeah. I think they can bounce back. Let's quickly take a look at the, where we are on the logs now, uh, uh, folks. Right. So uh, uh, at the top of the pile then in Super League A, UCT sitting at number one, Helderberg at number two, Brackenfell is sitting at number three, Durbel at four, Villages at five, Unimull at six, followed by Marty's at St. George's at six. And uh, if we just look at that game th that we had there now, we will take a look at the results. Kales River sitting at 12, but they do have a game in the hand. So it is all uh, still to... It is all still to play for. We are now sort of 30% uh, of the season, Jerome. We're, we're not even at the halfway mark yet. Yeah, it seems, like, it seems like UCT is running away if you look at the lock. But, I mean, they've played seven games uh, in the yeah. first. If you look at all the other teams, Alderberg uh, with 20 points and they played five games. If you look at Brackenfell also. Brackenfell played six, then 17. The team to watch out for is Durbel, Durbel because they played four games in the end 16. So. Yeah. Right, folks. Well, of course, as you know, MCHEM 24, our pharmacy on the corner of N1 and Durban Road, is on board with Cape Rugby TV and has got multiple zones there. And we, we've said many times that if you need a product, then MCHEM is where you should go to first. Uh, if they don't have something, then, of course, they will make an effort to find it for you. Of course, great brands, excellent prices there. In fact, you see MCHEM 24-hour pharmacy behind me. And now uh, you can see the big sign, the big 24-hour sign there for MCHEM 24-hour pharmacy. And, uh, multiple zones, of course, uh, at the pharmacy. Downstairs, of course, the various dispensaries. In fact, I think there's two dispensaries. There's 24-hour nursing sisters on duty. So if you need something, it's late at night and you just need to see... Uh, someone that can give you a little bit of uh, medical or nursing advice. And, of course, the orthopedic and surgical zone downstairs. And upstairs, there's that fantastic spa for your manicures and pedicures. And, of course, um, the uh, sports supplement zone. And don't forget, of course, MCAM 24-hour pharmacy is the official pharmacy to Western Province Rugby and the DHL Stormers. We'll take a break. When we come back, we're going to take a look at the second half between Alto Towers... Um, Kales River and uh, St. George's. Back in a sec.